Greetings of grace and peace to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus, the matchless Christ. What you're about to listen to right now is the word of God, is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Your faith is about to be built up and power is about to be released. And the faith cometh by hearing and by hearing the word of God, the message of Christ. Get ready because something is about to happen in your life. We hail you, we hail you. Raise your two hands up to heaven and just worship. It is different when kings worship. Uh -huh. The atmosphere is different when kings worship. Because when kings worship, kings are doing priesthood. <laughs> we glorify. We magnify. Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you praise. First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. The King James Version. First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Don't leave there. Stay there. First Peter chapter 2 verse 9. But you are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. A peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Revelations chapter 1 verse 3 to verse 6 Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand John to the seven churches which are in Asia grace and peace be to you from him which is and which was and which is to come I want you to pay attention to the tenses here from him which is which was and which is to come it's not he which was which is 
and which is to come. It is on the realm of man that you see which, is, which was, which is, and which is to come. That's on the realm of man. But on the realm of God, it is which is, which was, and which is to come. Because he is always is. So it is which is first. Which was and which is to come is in his ease. It is in man that you see progression. But in him you see definition and explanation. God never travels. He doesn't travel in time and he doesn't travel in space. He is I am. He has never been I was. And he will never be I am to come. Because both our was and our is to come is in his ease. So Jesus will say to the Pharisees, before Abraham, your father was, I am. Because this life I am living now in the flesh is not a cessation of my eternity. It's only an interruption because their salvation has to be given. So I am still he who is, who was, and who is to come. Verse 5. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us ah. and the prince of the kings of the earth before he died he was the king and we were the princes because a prince cannot be a king until the king dies. As he died, princes became kings. And he said, it is not, it is not, um, it is not um, insult for me to be called prince. So I become the prince of the kings of the earth. So among kings, I prince over them. Unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Verse 6. And has made us kings and priests unto God and his father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. And everybody says amen. Help me look at your neighbor tell him you are not a commoner. Uh, look at the other neighbor tell him you are not a commoner find a third neighbor that is alive because i don't know how you're speaking this morning find somebody that is alive and tell that person you are not a commoner you're a king find another person look at the person as if you're angry with him and tell him wake up you may be seated the bible is a document of purpose and that purpose is tied to a person and that person is the son of God and his name is Jesus the subject of the Bible I will always say is salvation because his main character is a person called the word of God when I read my Bible to see Christ I see him and once I see him salvation is seen and becomes the experience Jesus is the reason for the scriptures. Once he is found, salvation is the experience. Like I will always say, you may find wisdom, understanding, power, prosperity, connection, principles in the Bible, but everything has to point to salvation. Salvation is not just the birth of priests. Salvation majorly is the birth of kings. Salvation is not the birth of priests, not just the birth of priests. Salvation majorly is the birth of kings. God has always wanted, from the beginning, He has wanted a kingdom of priests and a priesthood of kings. Exodus chapter 19, verse 5 and 6. Exodus chapter 19, verse 5 and 6. 
media you have to be with me i don't have so much time now therefore if you will obey my voice indeed the word obey in the old covenant is the word believe in the new covenant so wherever you see obey in the old covenant as a new covenant person it is belief for you it is belief and keep my covenant and you shall be a peculiar and then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people for all the earth is mine verse 6 and you shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation these are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So God has always wanted a people who are kings and priests. It was not God's intention in the first place to have kings separate from priests. He wanted a nation that is a kingdom of priests. He also wants a priesthood of kings. That's why David was called a man after God's heart. Because David epitomized it. He typified it in the old covenant. David was a king in Israel. But David was a priest unto God. So David was a king and a priest. That's why Jesus could be called not the son of Abraham, but the son of David. Because he has to be a king and a priest. This point, I'm not about to tell you the things you've not heard, but I just want to come from a dimension. See, I, when all the things that were happening here was happening, the drama, the talk show, everything, I turned to First Lady and I told her, I said, you guys are priests, the message. All I just need to come and to do is for us to come and pray. Yes. Because if you had followed everything that has happened in this place, the message has been completely preached. But I want to bring an angle to this in a couple of minutes. So God has always wanted a people who are kings and priests. Now listen to me. This has nothing to do with gender. Family headship is determined by gender. But kingdom assignment, divine election, and church ministry, they are not. They are determined by gifts and callings. There's always a huge mix-up, and it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. The theology of creation has God's image, which is God's kingdom, God's assignment, and God's ministry, not as man, male man, but as male and female. Go back to Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our own image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over all cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Everybody please, can we read the next statement? One, two, read. The next verse, please. One, two, everybody read. So, you can see by scripture that it's been God's intention for dominion not to be a male gender thing. Kingship has no gender. It's only language that called a woman a queen. assignment called man king 
everything God said in the dominion mandate has nothing to do with priesthood. Be fruitful is not priestly. Multiply is not priestly. Replenish the earth is not priestly. Subdue it is not priestly. It's kings that take over and subdue. Have dominion is not priestly. It's now, now, everywhere these two words have come, kings and priests, everywhere it has come, kings come first. Read your whole Bible. There is no place in the Bible priesthood came first. It's us that switched it. Because priesthood is supposed to be a thing of the secret place. <laughs> I said, I just want to bring an angle to it, then we pray. Priesthood is supposed to be a thing of the secret place, kingship is supposed to be a thing of the open. The question I want to ask is when Adam fell in Eden, what did Adam lose? I've heard people say that Adam lost dominion. Because if we understand this, we will walk the way we are supposed to walk. The job of the priest is communion, not declaration. The job of the king is declaration. Look at the setting. The priest informs the king. The king sets things right based on what priesthood has informed him with. So legislation is not done by priesthood. Communion is done by priesthood. That's why Jesus is lion and lamb. Not lamb and lion. Because kingship will always come first. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. The first thing that was, that was advertised, that was publicized in Revelation chapter 5 was the lion, which is the king. But John said, when I looked, I saw a lamb. So it brings me back to my question. What did man lose in Eden? Man didn't lose dominion. Because dominion is a consequence of something. What man lost was that thing that God came to do and did not find man. Man was now hiding himself. So what man lost was communion. Because communion is what powers dominion. But what God created us to be, gave birth to us to be, is kings. Kings deal with men. Priests deal with God. They stand in between God and man to bring message from God to man and to bring man's message from man to God. That's the job of priests. But kings are the people that make things be. That sequence is everywhere in scripture. Let me just look at them a little then. We can move. Sondra Della just said, God placed us on the earth to be kings and priests. Martin Luther said, as Christians, we are all kings and priests and therefore we are lords of all. A real lord is one that is both king and priest. I had always thought that priesthood came first until I began to look at things closely and I will always see the pattern. I've talked about Adam. Let me talk about Abraham. Come out of your country and out of your kindred. Genesis chapter 12 verse 1. 
and I will make you a great every time God calls a man he's talking about kingship because the job of God is to take care of heaven your job the heaven of heavens belong to God but the earth he has given how many of us prayed that the election will not favor a certain kind of people he favored you know why men this kingdom belong to men God does not choose presidents men do so Jesus gave us a formula to live among men he said be wise as serpent know what the serpent knows It's only a serpent that we know a serpent when he's in green grass. He said, no. He created a... Look at it. The pattern is like that. I'm coming to Jesus. You'll see it. It's kingship. That's why I love that drama. We have put priesthood first priesthood is between you and God kingship is between you and men when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were gathered in one place and there came tongues from heaven as of fire. And there was a great wind and all that and all that. He said, and they began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. He said, and men heard them. So that empowerment is not for priesthood. Because when you speak in tongues that you're supposed to speak, men will hear you. So it is time for the church to move who ascend from the tongues Parakaposkopetela Zefarata Kemarekatoska. That is priesthood. To the tongues of Yudis Kulikuli, that is kingship. The best teacher in southeastern Nigeria if that person is a born again Christian that's kingship it is not priesthood what advertises your priesthood is your kingship men will want to know your God when they see what your kingship Israel, we are coming from Egypt. People, we are not afraid of their priesthood. They were afraid of what their God can do. That's kingship. Dominion. Subdue the earth. Rule it. Abraham was in a country. Isaac was the same. And the, 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 the king of the Gera came to Isaac and said, Get away from us. For you are stronger. That's not priesthood. That's kingship. We want people to see our priesthood. Mm -mm. God does not want them to see your priesthood. They want them to see your kingship. Your priesthood is what powers. When they see your kingship, they now start asking, why are you presenting, why are you having this kind of result? What is it that's working for you? You now tell them, I come, let me show you my priesthood. 
what we present first is not priesthood it's kingship how were you able to meet all your targets you laugh and say ah, I leave this thing now everybody just they do the same thing say no no everybody know they do this thing there is something that is working for you it is through your kingship let me pause and say this if you're always in your toilet in the office praying by 12 and everybody's hearing you and you're not meeting target stop praying People have never been forced to come and know God. People have always been asked, who is your God? Nobody saw Joseph's priesthood. Everybody saw Joseph's. Come on. Everybody saw Joseph's. Yes. Joseph was too solid about his priesthood. That he finished interpreting the, the, the dream of the king. And said to the king, find a man in your kingdom. He said, where this thing is coming from? <laughs> It's always kings. That's why he's a royal priesthood. They knew Jesus as a carpenter before they knew him as savior. We talked about Mechizedek. What was he called before? King of Salem. Before he was called, he was a priest of the living God. He's always kings. I'm telling you, this is pattern. Jesus died on a cross. Nobody forms a cross standing. So the horizontal has to be in place, kingship. Because on a cross, the, the vertical is priesthood. That's why he didn't die on a pole. The horizontal is kingship. But before you can put the vertical, the horizontal has to be a bar of wood on the floor. You now put this vertical and now marry them. Then you can advertise it. So it's kingship that advertises. I want to ask this question. That answer me just... Just write it somewhere. Why is it that witches don't attack people in five-star hotels? It's an aside. Just write it somewhere. Leave it. Some people, their mind is... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because we are kingship is properly in place dominion is easily established what priesthood does at that point is to correct things we worked this out why has this not worked the way we worked it then you go back to prison and you realize oh an enemy has done this in your communion you take away the enemy and you come out as nothing has happened. Jesus showed us his priesthood will always be in the dark before men woke up. His kingship. When he heals the blind man, it's not priesthood. His kingship is a king that goes to deliver his own that is oppressed. Are you understanding? Yes, yes, yes. 
It's not priesthood. Don't mix it. Go to the old covenant. You realize. The priest is separated unto God. That's what salvation did for you. Separation unto God. The priest is always in communion with God. That's what the Holy Ghost does for you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. I've always said it here. I said, the presence of the Holy Ghost is not enough. The major thing is the fellowship. The Holy Ghost was there in Genesis chapter 2. And everywhere was dark. Everywhere was chaotic. Everywhere was empty, but the Holy Ghost was still there. In fact, it was active. Bible says he brooded. His brooding did not change things. <laughs> so what changes things is not the presence of the Holy Ghost. It's the fellowship. I send you the, the spirit of truth. When he comes, he will guide you. Fellowship. He will take from me and give to you. Fellowship. He will show you things to come. Fellowship. So Paul did not tell us, let the presence of the Holy Ghost be. He said, no, the fellowship. So, the priest consecration is to God. The priest's life is continuous fellowship to God. So, being born again and continuous fellowship, because it's in that fellowship that the priest grows in the hearing of the voice of God. Thirdly, the priest has two stones on his chest. They call it the Urim and the Tumim. The Urim and the Tumim shows the priest what to do and guides the priest in the way to go. Priesthood. The Urim and the Tumim. The priest cannot make a mistake or else he did not listen to the Urim and the Tumim. As many as are led by the Spirit of God. They are the, So, we have the Holy Ghost as our Urim and as our Tumim to tell us what to do. But kings are the ones that make decrees. But if the king is not informed by priesthood, he will address the wrong thing. The priest is connected to God. Everything that belongs to the priest belongs to God. Hey. So our priesthood determines our offering. Levi qualified to collect tithes because there was no inheritance for Levi. So everything that belongs to priesthood is God's. If you're still quarreling about tithe, we need to check your priesthood. Because it is priesthood that sponsors kingship. The king is the one outside in battle with people. That person you're in battle with has a priesthood. He has a dibia he speaks to. That he gives three cows every month. <laughs> I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. That man has a dibia that if he calls him, don't do this. He does not do it. I want to tell you why kings in the kingdom fail. Because kingship is powered by priesthood. Is a kingdom of priests. But in a kingdom of priests, there are men that were selected to be equipers of priests. Because wherever there is no hierarchy, there will be anarchy. Wherever there is no order, there will be disorder and chaos. And God is not an author of confusion. See, it is nothing for you, for God to bless you. It is nothing. It is nothing. For your kingship. But your priesthood 
has to trust your kingship. Remember, the supply of the spirit from priesthood does not depend on God. Because the full supply has been given. What you take is your communion with priesthood. This is the difference between believer and believer. That's the difference between a believer that when he shows up, they give him the job. And the other one shows up, they tell him to come back tomorrow. And he's angry, no. Priesthood. There's something speaking for the other person. Daniel said, I want to, I'm painting Old Testament pictures. So that by the time I bring it to us, you will understand. Daniel said to Ariok, he said to him, he said, everybody does not have a matter. He said, See, let me tell you the truth. Wherever there is a need in the kingdom, it is an opportunity for God to display his priest to thy kingship. Let me say it again. Whenever there is a need in your company, God has made an opportunity to showcase kingship. <laughs> Whenever there is chaos in your company, God just, just threw up adverts. Kings needed for showcase. Kings needed for showcase. Kings needed for showcase. He doesn't display every king. That's why Peter did not write the epistles. Peter wrote one book that Theologians graciously divided into two. One little book. But Paul. Because the shoulder that carry kingship cannot be poor. Can we come to Jesus a little? Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a, a son is given. The next thing he talked about was kingship. And the government. Are, you, are, we, are we together now? It's always kingship. But that man that the government will be on his shoulder. Every day he wakes up, he goes in for priesthood. Can I tell you? Whenever priesthood is lacking, kingship has no power. That person you are afraid of is not more powerful than you. He is more responsible than you with his kingship, with his priesthood. If somebody is sleeping where you are not the person, this is what we put that money in your account. I'm telling you. Ideas are downloaded in the place of priesthood. They are executed in the place of kingship. Let me round off. I'll take it up sometime later. You can be a king and be living like a commoner in character. Commoners are always looking for where to take. Kings are always looking for where to add value and where to give. Let me look at your neighbor again. Tell him you can be a commoner. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up. Have you realized that both the priest and the king, in as much as their roles, one is secret, the other one is public. None of them is anointed in the secret.
all of them is made known in the public. You can't live like a common. Commoners are looking for what to hide. Let me bring it home. It's commoners that go f- that are sent to cook. They will cook and they will hide some. Can I come to your house? They gave you a contract to cook for 500 people. You cooked for 350 people. And you've already told yourself how to apportion it. I told you, let me, I said, we finish with Old Testament, then I will come to it. I just learned, I just came. You put it in apportion it the way you're going to apportion it. The way you apportion it, it will get to 600 people. But you knew that that work was for 350 people. And you pumped for 150 people. That is the character of commoners. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Kings are not recommended physically. Kings are recommended at their altars. At the place of priesthood. Commoner is that one that anything that comes, he wants to take it. A king thinks about his people. What will I do for my people? For God so loved the world, the king of the earth. I was the one offended, but I have to redeem my people. So he still gave for his people. That's how king behave. Even our salvation was not a display of priesthood. It was a display of kingship. It is a commoner that takes the money for school fees to go and do a shebi. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, you don't want to talk about that. Let me look at your neighbor again. Tell him, are you a commoner? The commoner that keeps four men sponsoring her, and she's not true to anyone. That's the life of a commoner. She picks from here, picks from here, picks from here, picks from here. Because she believes that it will never be enough. Even kings don't have things enough. The difference between kings and commoners is contentment. We put ourselves where we are. A royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. Have you seen that the three things are talking about kingship? A royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people is kingship. God fought to show the praise, show the praise, display. Priests are lambs. Kings are lions. As a lamb, you will live a good, you will live well, you'll be a good person. But as a lion, you will live a good life. Let me say it again. As a lamb, you'll be a good person. That's priesthood. But as a lion, you will live a good life. Because if you keep quiet, they will take what belongs to you. But your strength is powered by the blood of the lamb. You understand what I'm talking about? Uh, it's priesthood. If the lamb does not sacrifice, the lion cannot roar. The fragrance that comes from your priesthood is what sponsors the victory in your kingship. So let me ask you again. What is that in your priesthood? Because a man's heart 
is where his treasure is. I don't have, I don't have, I don't have. Is the statement of commoners. A commoner will never have. A king will always say, we'll find a way around it. Even there is nothing in view. Because kings are not synonymous. Kingship is not synonymous with lack. What puts food on the table of kings is what kings do as priests. What kings do as priests is what puts food, puts dominion, puts respect, puts honor. Yes. See yet thou a man diligent in his business. Who sees him? <laughs> he will stand before. He didn't, the Bible did not talk about how he got there. The Bible talks about how, where he will stand. Because it takes a lot to get there. Uh, it takes a lot. I was in a meeting. Yes, is this one I went to? I was in a meeting and somebody asked me. He said, how did you break into this circle? He said, how did you enter this circle? I smiled. I laughed. Did not answer him anything. And I moved on. Let me bring it home. It's easier for a banker in another bank to get a job in another bank than for somebody that is not in the banking industry to get a job in the bank. Uh, because entering the circle is the work. Moving inside the circle is not the job. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and it's priesthood that opens doors for you. That's why as he was done with priesthood he got to the gate of heaven and he said lift up your heads all your gates because this job has been done but after I finished doing my job I did not in introduce myself as the priest of priests. I introduced myself as the king of kings because when the priest of the king is strong the king can raise his head where other kings are and say you cannot do me anything. God borrow me SMO. But right now, both the SMO and the SE is in one person. The responsibility of the SE is taken care of by the SMO. If you know who the SMO is and how to deal with matters that have to do with spirits, when you stand before men, because every man that is listening to you is controlled by a spirit. I am a Kada. A pair at Holocaust, yeah. So when you are the priest of the father of spirits and you do your obeisance to the father of spirits, you will stand before men and you say, sit down. And they sit down. They wouldn't know why they sat down. They sat down because the spirit that controlled them sat down because the spirit that controlled you told them to sit down. Time is up. But legislations are not done by priests. Legislations are done by kings. But they are powered by priesthood. I've, I'll end with this. I gave this story before. I was working in a company. And that company had some Indians. And in the management meeting, the three Indians will be controlling the things happening in that meeting. What got me to that place was not prayer and fasting. It was an understanding of kingship and what I need to do to put myself together to stand as a king. Let me put a, a foothold on that and tell everyone in this place, anything you can do to make your career better, and do it.
priests are not polished. Kings are. Doesn't matter how influential the kingdom is, you will never see the priest in royal attire. Is the king. Every certification that needs to be done in that your field of endeavor, do the ones you can do now. Save up and do the ones you cannot do now. But make sure that we don't see you where we met you last year. Some of us that you are seeing, we have some degrees we cannot use. But we, we can't stop getting them. We can't, we can't stop. <laughs> Not everybody that gets a degree that snaps a picture. Don't be deceived. The people that really have it don't have pictures. What they have is evidence. Some people that have pictures don't have it. I, I never said so. Can you look at your neighbor again and ask him, are you a king? Tell him, don't live like a commoner. Had three, I'll finish, finish my story. Had three Indians. Those three Indians were good at their job. But they use their priesthood to shift things. There are men in that place that if they sit in the in the meeting, the board of directors will come and be saying some things. The management is there, board of directors. The three Indians will be looking at them and be changing what they were saying just to favor them. If it does not favor them, it will not be passed. By election. And by how God did things, I was moved into the management. My first day in the management, I realized what was happening. So I excused myself for five minutes. I went into the toilet, five minutes. And I came back. And I sat down. Because priesthood is not done in the open. Kingship is done in the open. So I got into the secret. Five minutes. I don't need more than that. I came back, sat down. And the next thing I heard, the person that was saying, said, what was I saying? No, no, how did we get here? No, 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 no. this is not what we... Didn't just... Not like somebody that just carried his head. And after the meeting, one of the Indians came and met me. He said, we know what you did. He said, we will deal with you in this office. I said, you're a dead man. I said, you're talking because you didn't check me out before you came to me. He said, if you had checked me out, you will not come to me. I said, go and check me out. Then you can come. Let's talk. That was the end. One day I woke up and said, we don't need Indians. So we have people in this place that can do better than them because they are not doing anything. So, eh, two of them were sacked. Because only one person. See, let me tell you this. If your priesthood is in place, your kingship will not suffer. Stand on your feet. All over this building. If you can pray in the spirit, let's just pray in the spirit for five minutes. Then we use the next five minutes to just make declarations.
Where's somebody now? Everybody at church. Do you have your guitar? Come and just sing. Everybody lift your two hands up to him. Most high God of heaven. Let him just sing, but let everybody just pray in the spirit. Ruler of just flow as he puts it in your spirit. Just sing it. Oh, Lift your two hands up to heaven. If you can bring the spirit, Baratade, Tepala Barata. Ale, Shapete, Tepora, Tamanada, Shatele, Borata, Caparada, Tabarada. Crepeteleke shato kapolo Sipara da da para da ba da ka ba da da ba da ha Shetetele re kopata keteleke ba da ka ba da ba da Sapara da para da ba ka ba re teleke de ka mona ta ya da ya Ebero to kapote shete la ba da ba Sipara da ba ka ba da da ba setele moko shete ma ha as a priest, as a Bow down your heads and pray. The Holy Ghost just instructed me. Just give me direction on how to pray. A dear part of my priesthood that I've not been able to do the things I'm supposed to do. Repentance is the way of perfecting the sense. Kane maniada Ebarada Shibarada Dabaha There's a dimension of greatness that's about to be bettered in this house this morning. Is a dimension of greatness. As a dimension of greatness. As a dimension of greatness. There's a dimension of greatness that's about to be bettered in this house this morning. <laughs> uh, is it in my commitment to that which you have called me to do? Is it in my giving? Ah, is it in my love work? I am the righteousness of God in Christ. I come back to this. 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 I withdraw from this. I withdraw from this. I come back. That's how to pray this prayer. I come back to this. I come back. I renew this. I renew this. I renew this. I renew this. So of course, the last time you prayed, you can't even remember. Thank 
God, Mahayata. Kaboda Sadada. The Shetele Baha. Job chapter 22, verse 28. Job chapter 22, verse 28. Job chapter 22, verse 28. Thou shalt decree. This is the character of kings. Thou shalt decree a thing. Because where the word of the king is, there is power. It shall be established unto thee. And light will shine. He didn't say that the king will go and put on the light. Because when kings speak, everything that they need falls into place. Kings are never in competition. Kings stand on their level. <laughs> nobody is selling. Nobody is selling. It's not for a king. If he opens his shop, he sells. Nobody remembers me. Nobody remembers. It's not for a king. If you're a king, you'll be remembered. Have five more minutes. Thou shalt decree a thing. And it shall be established unto thee. Are there things you need to address? I wish I can minister to people, but it's okay. Are there things you need to address? Raise your two hands. Just raise your right hand. Leave your two hands. Raise your right hand. Behold, I give you authority. If there are things you need to address, I don't know where it is, but it's time to live in the awareness and the consciousness of your royalty. Kings make decrees. They don't beg. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me remind you, you're a king and your servants are spirits. <laughs> Ooh, uh, are they not ministering spirits? Send forth for them who are heirs of salvation. You're a king and your servants are spirits. Ooh, your gods are spirits. Uh, can somebody make a decree and just send them on an errand tonight, this morning? Hey, Kapota Labadai, Shetelegade Sabahai. Forget about somebody around you that is not saying anything. Hey, Karaboto, Shaketeleke Badahai. Hey, Karaboto, Shukatayada. Hey, but thou shalt decree. That's how kings speak. Hey, Ketelabo, Shabadahai. Hey, Peratala Badada. That's how kings speak. Hey, Peroto, Shabadabahai. They have threatened you enough. It's time to rise, oh lion, and roar in the jungle. They have pushed you to the wall enough. It's time to come back, O king. They have stood on that which is yours enough. It's time to take that which belongs to you. The righteous is as bold as the lion. Go ahead and take that which belongs. Go ahead and speak. I can hear you speak the clear. Listen to me, listen to me. We have three more minutes, but listen to me. Have you realized that there is no dump king anywhere? He 
if you are dumb, a king can be blind. A king can be blind, but a king can never be dumb. There is no dumb king anywhere. No dumb king has ever lived. Let me say it again. A king can be blind. Because what makes a king king is by what he says. Where the word of the king is. Where the word a king can never... That's why it doesn't matter what the elders have said. They will still wait and say, Oh king, what do you have to say? This morning, let me announce to you, public service announcement. Angels are waiting, asking, what do you? Some of them have pulled their swords and they are waiting. Because they know that this one is fight. But what has the king? Will the king tell us to take off? Or will the king tell us to shoot our swords? Angelic doctors are waiting. What does the king want? Is the king going to just tell us, okay, leave it? Or is the king going to say, go and get that person healed? I don't know who I'm speaking to this morning. But can you just lift your right hand again as a symbol of authority in the spirit? And make decrees, I'm telling you. Your servants are spirits and they are waiting. Hey God, they are Mataya Badahaya. Abba, he has troubled you in that office. It's time to change the pitch. He has troubled you in that place. Hey God, let all men be liars. Let the Lord be true. He's a Badahaya. He's a Badahaya. He's a border. He's a lepidation. He's a baradata. Hera da bataya da ha. Asha de pera. Hera bokotala. Shada baraka mana ka barabaha. Eka ne bergiya da baraka baradabaha. You get one and a half minutes. scripture revelations chapter 19 verse 11 to 16 put it i will read it and i'll be out of your face revelation chapter 19 verse 11 to 16 and i saw heaven opened and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true and in righteousness he does judge and make war. That's what kings do. 
That's what kings do. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew. But he himself that in. And he was clothed with vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called. The word of God. Verse 14. And the armies which were in heaven followed him. Upon white horses. These armies that were in heaven are not angels. I will tell you. I will show you. It's clear. Clothed in white linen, fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goes sharp a sharp sword, that with it he will smite the nations. And he might rule them with the rod of iron. And he treaded the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of the Almighty God. Verse 16. And he had on his vesture and on his thigh a name written. So the people that were with him on those horses are not angels. If they were angels, what will be written on his name will be king of angels. The people that were on those white horses were you and I. Kaba. Were you and I. See, wake up in the morning and rehearse this. Stand up and make decrees. Every day you wake up, the king has arisen. But before the king stands up to roar, let the king be sure that priesthood is sorted out. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the almighty then the king takes over and he shall say lambs are lions and lions are lambs kings are priests and priests are kings how many touch your neighbor again? Tell him, hello, his majesty. How is your kingdom doing? Are you ready to expand the territory? That person doesn't have faith. Find another neighbor. Tell him, hello, her excellency. Hello, his excellency. Are you sure you are in charge of that kingdom? Because it is time to be fruitful, to multiply to replenish to subdue and to have dominion i can't wait come on now teach say i can't wait to hear the shout of your victory turn to the other person tell him i can't wait to hear the noise of your triumph Turn to the last person tell him i can't wait to hear the effect of your dominion if that is true can i hear you shout hallelujah Wow, is that not just a word? I believe that your life has taken another level of a lift. I believe that the word of God works and it will work in your life. Right? Take what you heard this day and make sure you do something with it. But peradventure, you have not made Jesus the Lord of your life. You can just pray with me. And it's as simple as that. Can you just say what you hear me say? Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. I've heard the gospel. I believe in my heart. And I confess with my mouth that you are my Lord and you are my Savior. Everything about my life is controlled by you from today. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. If you made that prayer from your heart, I want to tell you congratulations. You're born again. Find a Bible-believing church around you and just be a part of what God is doing in our generation. If you find a house on the rock branch around you, just be a part of what God is doing. If you live around Abia State or Omaha, 
join us in our two services on Sunday morning by 8 a.m. and by 10.30 a.m. And on Thursdays by 5 p.m. You will be glad you did. Our address is number 27, Ikodebene Road, Omaha. The Lord bless you. Very good. I believe that your life is going to the next level and the next dimensions and the world is about to see the hand of God upon your life. Like we always say in this house, the blessing is on you. It's ever increasing. It's ever abounding.